um, give us a quick crash course on what should somebody do, you know, who is either just getting in the credit game or if okay. they have like bad credit. So, so pretty much I would say the first thing is stop worrying about a credit score. Mm. I think a lot of people worry about a credit score mm -hmm. and they get stuck. Yeah. Or, or, or they like, oh man, I don't have a 700. Mm -hmm. I want to say they, they're chasing the number yeah. when you should be chasing the data. Mm. Start building your business credit now. Ooh, yeah. Get your LLC today. Yeah. Right. I built, I, I started my company in February, 2010. Yeah. I didn't quit my job until August of 2012. Mm -hmm. Right. Build your business credit. And I didn't even have business credit at that time. Yeah, yeah. Right. But build your business credit, build the foundation. Yeah. Get your credit right. Yeah. Get your business credit up. Maybe get a, get everything out of your personal credit. So if you are looking to leave your nine to five, right? Go to Bank of America, get, get the car out of your personal credit, get as much personal debt that you can out, right? And then now when you start your business and you wanted the nine to five, you have no personal debt. So you can literally build your business, you know, transfer a lot of your, your, your debt into the business. Right. So now when you, when you leave your job, the business... It's crazy. Oh, that's a Hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I wanna help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, all right, let's go back to the video. Pay attention and listen, we about to teach class. Inside the boat, my man adds cash. So get your man right, Thursday night, 8 p.m. You see him, change your life. Millionaire mindset, the best on earth. All right, so welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Uh, and listen, I need you to get your pen, your pad. I need you to look, do not get off of social media. I need you to pay very close attention to this episode, right? Because the number one question I get as a financial educator, the number one question I get is on credit. And I am so, I'm, I'm super busy. I wrote a book, you know, What the FICO, 12 Steps to Repairing Your Credit. So every time somebody asks me questions, I be like, yo, go get my book. But sometimes y'all need more than that, right? And then the new thing, the question I'm getting is about business credit. Yo, how do I build business credit? How do I get the personal guarantee out my name? Like all of that stuff, I bought the greatest credit expert on the planet, my guy. Appreciate you, Jose bro. Jose Rodriguez, Thanks, a.k.a. Man. The Credit Dude. Yes, sir. Thanks, up, bro. Brother? Appreciate you, man. Nah, Appreciate thank you having you, man. me, bro. It's thank an honor. You. No, nah, it's an honor for me, man, because, um, you know, as somebody who has been, man, I've been in this game, you know, over a decade. Um, and so I know, you know, credit inside and out, have written books on it. Um, and I remember, man, a lot of people were coming to me ha asking for, you know, uh, you know, how to do certain things. So I was like, I'm going to open up a credit repair business. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, open up the credit repair business and it's a lot of work. Right. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, no, nah, I can't do this. This this, right. this ain't it. So I was like, all right, so what am I do? What, what am I going to do with everybody that is asking me for credit information? So I was like, all right. All right, let me let me find different people. Oh. Um, and when I found you, I said he's the guy, oh. right? Because what happens is there's a lot of people who might have read a book, right? Uh -huh. And when they read the book, they now think they're the expert. Oh. Um, and but you could tell when I'm I'm looking at your content, I'm like, yeah, you don't really know what you're talking about, right? <laughs> um, and so we connected, um, and I've been you know sending you clients, and 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 I, I'll be honest though. What, what got me was your business model, yep. um, which is like, yo, let me show you what I could do. And it's not like, yo, let me juice you for monthly fees or whatever. 
Uh, but we, so we about to get into all of the credit smoke. But before yep. we get into that, yep. for those who don't know, who is Jose Rodriguez? Yep. So appreciate you, man. So my name is Jose Rodriguez, the credit dude. Um, Puerto Rican, raising uh, raising New York, uh, live in Jersey right now. I uh, went to the Marine Corps when I was 17. And, uh, you know, back in high school, man, I was one of those kids that couldn't play sports. You know, I graduated like 112 pounds. I was skinny. You know, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life, right? Went to the Marine Corps. Um, and I was like, all right, this is what I'm going to do to straighten me up. My brother was a Marine. So I was like, listen, this will change your life, right? So I went to the Marine Corps and uh, followed the crowd. Right. I think a lot of people sometimes they follow the crowd because uh, they think it's this thing to do. Yeah. Right. So I got in trouble, uh, ended up committing fraud in the military, yeah. uh, got court martialed. For those of you who don't know what court martial is, court martial means like pretty much just going to court for like in like in regular, you know, judge or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got sentenced to military prison, mm. the brig. Wow. Right. For, you know, committing fraud and, and, and it, like fraud, it was pretty much if you couldn't take the test. I'll have somebody take it for you. Mm. Like, wasn't really nothing crazy. Everybody, whatever. I followed the crowd, right? right, right. Only one that got caught out of hundreds of people. And um, throughout that time, I discovered credit in the military. Mm. And I was like, yo, this is pretty dope. Like, I fixed credit, boom, boom, boom. And when I got out the military, I got court martial. I started fixing credit again. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, even though I got court martial, people didn't really judge me. They didn't label me. They didn't, oh, that's the dude that got court martial. Let's, like, get away from him. Mm -hmm. But people in the military are like, yo, bro, I it's heard you. because you ain't snitched. Was right. Like, you, know I mean? you know what I mean? And I easily could have. Right, right. But I'm like, nah, let me just take this or whatever the case is. Because, you know, if I would have did that, bro, Dog. it would have it would, it been nuts. Yeah, it would have been nuts. Yeah. So pretty much, bro, I started helping people in the military. Yeah. And after that, bro, it was a wrap. I mean, I got through my depression. Uh, you know, so a lot of people, a lot of people don't talk about mental health. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. I mean, I suffered uh, suicide, wow. depression, anxiety, PTSD, schizophrenia. I was on tons of medication, yeah. um, and this is 2000, like, 7, 8, 9, 10, started my company in 2010, yeah. 12, 13, it wasn't until, like, 2016, man, like, yeah. a few years ago. Wow, wow, wow. That, that, and what, that I got what, what would that. you say, so, what, were you battling with those prior to the military, or? No. Okay. And I still battle that today. Yeah. I just know right. how to control it now. Right, right. You, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and it was what I went through with the military. I was making excuses. Like, yeah. I was depressed. I was like, oh, my God. Still, I'm a credit repair company. Right, right. But I just didn't want... I just thought if I couldn't be a Marine, that I couldn't do anything else. Wow. So instead of serving the world with as a Marine, mm -hmm. I figured, let me serve my community through credit. Wow. And, and, and that's where I found a new purpose in life. Yeah. You know, I, I got off my medication. Yeah. I had stopped drinking for a while. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a beautiful wife, Kelly, a daughter, Peyton. She's 10. Yeah. And this whole time, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Like, yeah. what, are you, what are you doing? Like, literally, bro, like, you're wasting your life. Right. And, uh, and, you know, and then, and then in 2018, I almost sold my company. Mm -hmm. Then I met Caesar, yeah. Flippin' and Jay. Shout yeah. out to Caesar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, shout out, you know, and, and Envy. Yeah. And they were like, listen, man, we need a speaker. Yeah. And it's, and it's been a game changer ever since, man. Wow. You know, I, I, made, I made the decision to just keep going. Yeah. And, uh, and, and credit, I love it, man. I even love business credit even more, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we're going to tap into. Yeah. You know, but I think, I think a lot of people, man, they give up. A yeah. lot of people, they feel like, oh, if I can't do one thing, I can't do anything. Yeah. Just find your niche, man, just, yeah. and just change, just, change, just change the world with your niche. You'll find another one. Yeah, yeah. And, you know and why, why were you going to sell your, uh, your, your business? You know, the whole depression thing. Yeah. I was behind on my mortgage. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Maybe this wasn't the right decision that I made. Yeah. You know, I was still battling some demons, yeah. you know, and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just sell it and, and maybe just become a loan officer, mortgage banker, realtor yeah. or whatever. But then I was like, nah, nah I, right, I, yeah. I, I don't know. But then literally, bro, the day before I sold my company, wow. I got the text message from Caesar. And, and then what, what, what was that like, uh, you know, was it was it a random text? Like, like what, what, why, why so, did it you? So I had known Caesar and Lucci for years. Yeah. Right through Instagram. Yeah. Right. That's what people always. If, even if you got five followers. Yeah. Keep going. Facts. Right. Because they were like, "Yo, we've been watching you for years. Yeah. Since 2014, mm -hmm. and we like what you do. We like how you charge. We like how you do stuff. Yeah. We want the right person to help educate." our people when we do our seminars. Yeah. But I started crying. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I said, I was behind on my mortgage. Right. I was still behind on my mortgage mm. when I was doing the seminars. Right. You know what I mean? But I was getting up early, getting after it. Yeah. But I just think I'm like, why me? Mm. Why the, why Jose, the credit, like right. why? Right. Like I'm court-martialed, I'm yeah. depressed, like, yeah. and bro, I just, it's, it's been a blessing, wow. man. It's been the wow. best thing that ever happened to my life. Oh, no, absolutely. Because yep. now, you know, the, you know, you are the credit expert, right? Right. You know, mm. for, for the, you know, DJ Envy and Caesar's, uh, yep. you know, seminar, 
um, you know, you know, thousands of people, yep. uh, breakfast club interviews, yeah, uh, traveling, people get to hear you, yep. um, you know, and then so now, you know, you have this flourishing business, right. uh, you know, for, for those out there, uh, basic, give, give us, give us a basic one-on-one, -on -one, um, on credit, you know, because there's a lot of people, um, who have bad personal credit. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we're not taught credit in school. Yep. Uh, we're figuring things out ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um, give us a quick crash course on what should somebody do, you know, who is either just getting in the credit game or if okay. they have like bad credit. So, so pretty much I would say the first thing is stop worrying about a credit score. Mm. I think a lot of people worry about a credit score mm -hmm. and they get stuck yeah. or, or, or they like, oh man, I don't have a 700. Mm -hmm. I want to say they, they're chasing the number yeah. when you should be chasing the data. Mm. Right. So I tell people whether you are starting, like if you're just starting off or if you have a 700, Focus more on the data that's on your credit report. What does that mean? What are my limits on my credit cards? What cards am I applying for? What are the balances on my credit cards? Because think about it. Why do people get into bad credit? Mm -hmm. Because they couldn't manage the debt that they had. Right. Right? That's usually the number one thing. They charge off their credit cards, mm -hmm. repossession, things like that. So it's like just, just make sure that when you build credit that you, that you take away the credit score aspect mm -hmm. out of it. If you know you have a $500 credit card, just don't overspend that. If you know you have two $500 credit cards, just don't overspend that. You know, you can get a secure credit card. You know, there's credit cards like Petal. Have you ever, ever heard of Petal? No, I haven't. No. P-E-T-A-L. Mm -hmm. So it's Petal card. Very new card. Like, we found them when they when My Jewelers Club and New Coast Direct, those cards kind of like vanish yeah. and they stop reporting. Yeah. Petal card is another card that you can get mm -hmm. when you establish a little bit of credit history. There's Kickoff, mm -hmm. K-I-K-O-F-F. Kickoff gives you like a $500 limit um, and you just got to buy something on their website mm -hmm. and you're good. Wow. Um, secure any secure credit card at a credit union you know those are good to build uh, but you want to just build something you want to show that you have a little bit of, of, of credit power capacity too because mm -hmm. if not if you can't show that you can manage a 500 credit card why is somebody gonna give you a 10,000 right yeah you know so and, and the thing is why do people want the the, the higher limits mm -hmm. because they're always worried about a credit score mm. just get out of the credit oh I don't want you to run my credit I'm like bro you have a 530 credit score <laughs> right. but but you don't want nobody to run your credit right like come on yeah. fi fix that stuff or build a little bit more yeah and, and that's it man it's just yeah. build a little bit of credit if you have a family member obviously add them as a, you know get added as an authorized user yeah if you know them right yep. And that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 lo I love that advice because um, it's just like anything else, right? When you get attached to the number, you'll never really uh, get to the goal, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if, if, if I'm like, yo, I want to release 50 pounds, me just looking at the number is not going to get me to release 50 pounds. Yeah. I have to do the action steps, right? I have to know I got to eat yeah. right. I got to drink yeah. tons of water. You know, I got to work out, right? These are the things that's going to help me release the pound. Yeah. And so as I do those things, then the number is going to show up. And so you, what you're saying in that sense is like, yo, stop focusing so much on the number, oh, 700, 700. Yo, treat your credit right, right? Right. You know, 35, 30, 15, 10, 10, right? Yep. You know, pay your bills on time, you know? And, and so, and and so, because you said something about, uh, I'm about to start teaching, you know, I'm mm -hmm. a credit guy. I'm like, great. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not you. Um, you know, you said something about credit cards, right? Um, how much should somebody be using on their credit card, right? Because I think that that's the other sort of like misnomer where people are like, all right, I got this credit card. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna spend it all and I'm gonna pay it all back. Is that the way? Because I, I hear this all the time. Somebody like, somebody might call me and they're like, yo, Ash, I just got this new credit card. Yo, my man's, <laughs> my man's told me, yo, just use all of the, all of the money mm -hmm. and then pay it back each month. And if I keep doing that, I'm gonna build my credit. Right. Is that the right way to do it? Yes, yes and no. Yeah. If you're gonna use that strategy, the, the one thing you wanna make sure you do is that you pay it off before they actually report the balance to the credit bureaus. So that's mm. number one. Yeah. So how do you find that out? Just call your credit card company, call Capital One and say, hey, when do you report my balance to the credit bureaus, mm. right? I think people get stuck on like the statement date, the due date, this. just say in layman's terms, yeah. our terminology is, yeah. hey, when do you guys report my balance to the credit bureaus? The yeah. 15th? Yeah. Just make sure you pay it off in full by the 13th. Right. Because now when, when it reports to the credit bureaus, it shows a zero balance. And, and, so, and so not, the statement date, not right. It's a different date. So like if like if like if if Capital One says you owe right mm -hmm. this this bill on the twenty eighth. Yep. And then they say, but we report to the credit bureaus on the fifteenth. Then forget about the twenty eighth. Right. Okay. Pay it on. So so usually the statement date and the report date are usually the same thing, mm -hmm. right? 
But get at it. Just all you really got to worry about is, all right, I know the credit bureaus report on the 15th. Yeah. Pay it in full by the 13th or pay it down by that by that time because now your credit score stays the same. Mm. That's probably one of the biggest questions. I get a lot of clients all over. They don't have bad credit. Right. But when I look at the credit report, all their cards are maxed out. But they tell me, yo, bro, I pay this card off in full every month. Yeah. I'm like, you do, but you're just paying it. Pay it this day. Yeah. And then they call me back two months later, like, yo, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> right. I didn't change anything. All I did was pay it two days earlier or five days earlier, right. and my credit got shot up 100 points. Yeah, right, right. You know what right. I mean? And, and then the thing is, don't be afraid to use your credit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and I think that's where people look at, oh, I just do cash. I, I can't handle it. This yeah. thing, you can make so much money with your credit. Yeah. So if you have $60,000 in available credit, mm -hmm. use it to your advantage. Right. Start a business. Right. You know, if I would have had 60 grand to start my company. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're nuts. And, and then so, next, so let's pivot to that, right? Because... Hey, how you guys doing? Hold on, hold on, don't press that button because that's what I do every time I'm looking at an ad that I don't want to see. This ad just happened to be life changing. I just happen to own one of the biggest home health care companies in the state of Georgia. I can help you create your own. Just to give you a little bit of insight, I send out registered nurses, LPNs, and CNAs to take care of people inside of the homes that cannot take care of themselves. But guess what? You don't have to have any medical background and you don't have to have any medical knowledge. So if you're wanting to change your life and you have a passion for actually taking care of people, then go ahead and sign up for Home Healthcare Blueprint. I'll see you guys later. You know, and, and just for those like the 35, 30, 15, 10, 10, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's the five categories, right? Yep. Can you break that down for us a little bit? Yep. So 35% is your payment history. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and your credit scores range from 300 to 850. Yeah. So you have 550 points that's pretty much manipulated by those five categories, right? Yeah. So 35% of 550 is 192.5 points, right? So that's payment history. Mm -hmm. So, you know, shout out to Derek Harper, one of my boys. He's the so one that taught me that strategy of get out of the percentages and teach them the points. Mm. Because if you teach them the points, they'll, they're like, ah, it's just 35% of my credit score is not that bad. But if you tell them, yo, bro, if you're late, it could affect up to 192.5 points. Mm. Oh, crap. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Let me make sure I'm not late ever again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you have your 30%, which is debt utilization, mm -hmm. and that's 165 points. Mm -hmm. So put those two and two together, mm. you're over 350 points if you're late and maxed out credit cards. Oh, I'm using that. That's a gem. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and I think people just like, ah, you know what? It's only a $300 right, limit. Right. But if you max it out, it doesn't matter if it's your limit, it's still gonna affect your credit score up to 165 points. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter about the limit, mm -hmm. it matters about how much you're using of that limit. 15% mm -hmm. is age is time and file, mm -hmm. right? And that's about 82.5 points. Yeah. So the, the sooner you build credit, the better your credit score is gonna be. I got people that come to me, they have zero credit. Like, Yo, I want an 800 credit score next month. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna happen. Ain't happening, yeah. And that's why people buy trade lines, mm -hmm. is to help out with the 30%. Right. And the fifteen percent, right? Right. But the thing is, just get a family member to do it, and mm -hmm. if you don't, it just takes time. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Ten percent is mixture of credit, and here in this category, if you have a mortgage, if you have a car, mm -hmm. and you have a credit card, mm -hmm. they're gonna give you those fifty-five points in that category, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So think about it: if you have one, they're only gonna give you thirty-three percent of those of those fifty-five points. Yeah. Right. And then the last one is inquiries, mm -hmm. where everybody gets wrapped up on. Yeah. Inquiries affects your credit the least. Right. But everybody focuses more on it. The, they're like, yo, don't run my credit, but you got a repossession, a collection, <laughs> right. six late payments, and maxed out credit cards. Right. But you don't want nobody to run right. your credit. credit? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that and that affects another fifty-five points of your credit score. Yeah. So it's really not a lot. So you know how some people say. Yo, I went to the car dealership and my credit score dropped 100 points mm -hmm. from them checking it. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Right. Because the, the, the most amount of points you can use for increase is 55, 55 points. Right, that's right, it. Right. You know what I mean? So that's, right. a, that's a quick little breakdown yeah, of it. Yeah. J just worry more about the, the, the actual numbers yep. that it affects your credit score versus the percentage. Yep. And you'll, 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 you'll treat your credit a little bit better, mm -hmm. which then the data drives the score. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. if you take care of the data, mm -hmm. The score is, in a sense, going to reflect higher because you're doing everything right. Just like you said, you're eating right, you're drinking water, doing whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. When you get on that scale, it's like, oh, crap. Yep. I can't believe I just lost all this weight. Right. But it's like, if you do all this stuff, it's like, wow, I can't believe my credit score went this high. Well, yo, you're doing the work, though. Right. So you're good. Yeah, no, I love that. I love yeah. that. And then so so now, right, somebody has their personal credit uh, good. Mm -hmm. um, and then now it's time, you know, they, 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 they you know, want to start a business. Um, you know, or they have a business and they want to build their, uh, per, you know, their business credit. Mm -hmm. um, and so in order to build their per, their business credit, uh, they have to, without a doubt, build their personal credit first. Is that is that is that correct? Yes and no. OK, so you will get higher approvals. Right. On certain accounts, if your credit is good. Um, 
but you don't need to have a good credit score to build business credit. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions because mm -hmm. there are a lot of accounts. So first thing to build business credit, what do you need? You need a business. Right. You got to get an LLC. That's one of, believe it or not, bro, I get a lot of people, oh, can I build business credit? I don't have a business. I'm like, you got to get an LLC. <laughs> right, right. But it's just because people don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you can, you can create an LLC on your own, get an attorney, mm -hmm. right? Uh, get your EIN, your employer identification number, your tax ID. Mm -hmm. That's free. Go yes. on the IRS website. Those are the two things you need, <laughs> right. right? Once you get those two things, now you can actually start building business credit. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to attach everything to your personal credit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, back when, when I discovered business credit, it was too late. I had filed bankruptcy back in 2013, 14, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because I had put all my personal debt, all my business debt on my personal credit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I had like $140,000, $50,000 in, in debt mm -hmm. on my personal credit that was for my business. Yeah. And when I filed bankruptcy, you know, my credit was shot. Right. But then I started building business credit. Mm. And a lot of the stuff I didn't have to personally guarantee, mm. even though my credit score was in the dumps, mm. I was still able to get some net 30, some credit cards, Lowe's, Home Depot's, things like that, mm -hmm. Sam's Club, BJ's, that wasn't tied to my personal credit. Mm -hmm. So even though my personal credit was shot, mm -hmm. I was still able to get it. Mm. But I couldn't get the American Express cards. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get the Chase. Mm -hmm. So those are where, if your personal credit is good, yeah. it'll kind of accelerate you getting those those high limit credit cards mm -hmm. that even though they run your personal credit, it doesn't report to your business. Mm -hmm. you, you know and, what I mean? And, and so and so now, right? Um, you know, you, you just told me, you know, have a business, uh, EIN number, yep. uh, and I'll start b building business credit. So you know, I'm, today as soon as right as soon as they finish watching this episode, yep. uh, you know, go online, inkfile.com or wherever, yep. open up the LLC, yep. irs.gov, get that. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna get a post office box, put my cell phone number, mm -hmm. and then I'm good. Nope, nope. So that's nah. good. So that's, I'm glad you I'm glad you mentioned that because that's one of the biggest mistakes too that people make. Yeah. How can you really be a business if you're using all your personal information? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the thing is, is uh, you ever heard of Regis? Mm -hmm. Regis.com? Yeah. Regis yeah. Regis.com is one of the best ways you can start truly positioning yourself to be a business owner yeah. and be deemed as a business. Mm -hmm. Because with Regis, what you do is you're, you're in a sense renting their location yeah. for like 60 bucks a month, yeah. 70 bucks a month, right? And then now when people Google your business, you actually have a building. Mm. They're not Googling your house. Yeah. So it's like, if you want to build business credit, you have to have a business address. Mm. And instead of getting a, 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 your, your cell phone, there's places like Ring Central yeah. that, that I like, right? That's yeah. who we use for, for our employees. Mm -hmm. and, and Ring Central, you look like a business. Right. It's, it's actually a business number that you can register on 411 mm -hmm. and, you, and you can put on the Google page and, and things like that. So it's like a VOIP, yeah. a voice over internet protocol. Yeah. It's not a cell number. Mm -hmm. So when businesses are looking, your, when you're applying for business credit mm -hmm. and you have your house address, your personal email address, your personal phone number, all this stuff is like, all right, we're going to deny this right, guy. Right. You know, for American Express, it's not going to matter. Right. But then when you're trying to tr build true business credit, yeah. if everything that you're doing is your home address, you know, uh, the credit dude 10 at gmail.com. Right, right, it's right, like, right, right. You, you know, instead flip it, get yeah. a website, get an actual business address. I yeah. mean, a business email address. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you're able to get everything in a business, mm -hmm. now when you apply for a business credit, it doesn't matter how much revenue you're bringing in. They're mm -hmm. going to Google the credit dude and like, oh, wow, this guy has a, has a big office. Right. He has a website. Yeah. He has a, a, a professional email address, yeah. professional phone number, and you're good. Yeah. And, and then the biggest thing, the other biggest thing you got to do Ash is you got to go to Dun & Bradstreet, mm, right? Yeah. Dun & Bradstreet, so it's Dun and Bradstreet, mm -hmm. right? So it's, the website is www.d, the letter D, mm -hmm. A and D, B mm -hmm. com. So mm -hmm. D and B dot com. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people charging thousands of dollars for people to get their Dun's number. Yeah, yeah. Thousands. Facts. You know you can get your Dun's number for free? Absolutely free. Free. Yeah. It might take 30 days. Right. But if you go on their website, request your Dun's number, what's crazy is people already have a Dun's number that don't even know mm -hmm. it. Because you can look up your business mm -hmm. to see if you actually have a Dun's number. Yeah. And if, it's, if the information's correct, you can go on there and fix it yourself. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But a lot of people are charging, you know, even DNB charges you like $1,800 right. to, to, to expedite your expedite. Dun's expedite. number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So as long as you have the fundamentals down, LLC, EIN, a business address, and if you started your LLC with your home address mm -hmm. and you get Regis, just change the paperwork. Right. Change it with the IRS. Yeah. Change it with the state. Yeah. And then now, I, I think that's the thing that people are doing is they're applying for business credit mm -hmm. incorrectly because all their information is incorrect. Yeah. So now, 
you get a business bank account, has mm -hmm. to have the, the Regis office. If you have a brick and mortar, you're good. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a brick and mortar, I work from home. Yeah. We have 40 team members, right? Mm -hmm. I work from home. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go to an office. Right. That's just me. Yeah. But I have an office right. that that's where I put all my information mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Business bank account, have your business address. Mm. All those basic fundamental things, mm -hmm. now you can apply. Right. You know what I mean? And now when you apply, that's the, the, the reason why a lot of people got to put their personal credit and mm -hmm. why people think you need personal credit, uh, good personal credit, is because when you're applying for these Net30s, the Home Depots, the Lowe's, the Sam Club, all these Net30 or revolving trade line accounts when the business mm -hmm. is because your business isn't set up properly. Mm. So like, yeah, I'm not giving this guy a $10,000 right. Lowe's card. Right, right. He's, nah, you got to personally guarantee it because yeah. we want to make sure we get our money back. Yeah. But if you have all your stuff set up correctly, yeah. Now, when you go apply for business credit, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, you yeah. 10 grand, 15 grand, yeah. and if you're going to do Lowe's, there's three Lowe's cars and three Home Depot cars, and now you can really get more credit for your business. Yeah. That's, you don't, even if you have, like, bro, when I filed bankruptcy, my, my credit score went down to, like, I think it was, like, a 510, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 530. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it went back up after. Right, right. But, bro, I was, in, I was in the low 500s, but I'm still getting a proof of business credit. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I, you know, I love, I love that you said that because a lot of times – what people are not realizing is that it's not that you can't get the business credit, uh, it's that you have to set it up the right way, That's it. right? Uh, and setting it up the right, right way is really about understanding that you have to be a business right. because you know even you know my, you know as a former banker, what people don't realize is that because there's so much liability with businesses, um, there is usually a person that's checking or like mm -hmm. it, it's not only an algorithm that yep. can give you a decision really quickly. Yep. Like I remember when I was working at the bank, uh, you know, if you wanted to open up a personal account, we just run your things in this in a system. If check system says you good, then you good. Yep. We open a business account, we gotta do site visit, yep. we gotta call, we gotta, we gotta go on Google, we gotta make sure it's a real business, yep. especially after 9-11, to be yep. honest, right? Because after 9-11, yep. the rules change. Everything. And so, you know, now you have CIP, you got uh uh the the uh, I forget the name of it the Patriot Act yep. where you you got to make sure you're confirming stuff and so they're holding you know you know you know banks and financial institutions liable so they have to do that that level of due diligence yep. and so um, you know I'm somebody now I got my business right you know I I, I got it set up the right way um, how does scoring work mm -hmm. right with business right because uh, I know with 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 personal credit it's Equifax TransUnion Experian, right? Yep. Um, and and so is 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 that the same case? Do I have an Equifax Experian TransUnion number? And then how, what's the range of that number? Or you know, or does the is, does the number even matter? How do you know if you have good business credit or not? Yep. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you're you're, you're checking it first. Yeah. Right. So there's a website called nav.com. Mm -hmm. So nav.com, right? They monitor your business credit, and you have Equifax business, you have Experian business. And you have Dun and Bradstreet. Mm. There's a couple more players out there, kind of like with personal credit. You know how you have Advantage check systems, and all that. Innovis, yeah. and you have yeah. other. There's other players out there, but the three you really want to worry about is Equifax Business, Experian Business, and uh, Dun and Bradstreet. Okay. And if you sign up for Nav.com, Nav.com, uh, they'll they'll in a sense start building your business credit. Why? Because every time you pay your your Nav subscription every month mm -hmm. with the Business Boost plan, mm. they report a positive trade line every month. Mm. So imagine if you paid for Experian.com personal or credit monitoring, and that built your your personal credit mm. with Nav.com. That's it. Actually, builds your business credit by paying for what you need to check your business credit. Oh, wow, wow, it's wow. crazy, yeah, 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 right? Yeah. So now with Dun & Bradstreet, you have your Paydex score, mm. and that usually goes up to 100, yeah. right? And then you have your experience score that usually goes up to 100 too, right? Yeah. And then, but with Experian Business, there's a lot of other key indicators, right? There's a, lot of, there's a risk factor. There's a lot more things you got to go on there. But I tell people the same thing when it comes to, pers to business credit. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the score. Yeah. Worry about what you're getting approved for mm -hmm. because this thing, if you only have one account reporting, mm -hmm. you ain't going to have a 80 Paydex score. Right, right. Keep building. Yeah. You know, and, and, and then once you start building your business credit up, which we're going to go over on which accounts to apply for properly, because that's, I feel like that's another missing part too. Is like, yeah, just build business credit. Okay, yeah. but how? Yeah. Right. And we're going to go over that because yeah. 
But once again, once you're set up correctly, you get nab.com. Mm -hmm. Now when you start applying for stuff, you're gonna see your Paydex score and your Intello score go up mm -hmm. and your Equifax score, right? You're gonna see it come out of the red mm -hmm. and go in the green. Mm -hmm. And that's what you really wanna focus on when it comes to business credit is, am I in the red mm -hmm. or am I in the green? All right, if I'm in the red, that means I probably don't have enough business credit accounts. Mm -hmm. That means I'm not set up properly. Mm -hmm. Am I paying my accounts on time? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of these accounts when it comes to business credit, it ain't no like revolving. Mm -hmm. You got 30 days right. to pay it back. Right, right. So if, if, if you aren't good with paying off your personal credit mm. in a short amount of time, yeah. don't make the mistake of now starting building business credit if you know that you're not going to be able to pay back in full right. whatever you're getting that month right. because then you're just going to, you're doing all this for nothing. Right, You, right. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope yeah. that makes sense because yeah. if you have 30, if you have a revolving credit card and, with and, Capital and, and, One. And that's what net 30 means, right? Net, net 30, 30 means correct. 30 days to pay this off. Correct. Yeah. And, and some industries like restaurant industries, they have net 7, net 14. Mm. So they have a shorter time to pay it back. Right. And, 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 and even, you, they even go up to like net 55 or mm -hmm. net 60. Mm -hmm. You just got to find out what those terms are. Yeah. And they also have revolving. But I say as a business owner, you really got to get into the habit of whatever you use. Yeah. If it's not making you money, or if it is making you money, mm -hmm. pay it back right away. Right. And if it's not going to make you money right away, then maybe do it on a revolving card mm -hmm. than a net thirty card. Yeah. And so and so, what what are some examples of some like net thirty accounts that people could kind of yep. tap into? Yeah. I mean, people always talk about the U lines and the Grangers mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I say, yeah, those are good, mm -hmm. but the real power, man, is in gas cards. Mm. The real, real power in building business credit up the right way is in gas cards. Mm. Um, there's a company called Wex, mm -hmm. W-E-X.com, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They're like kind of like the, the issuer of gas cards. Mm -hmm. Um, because this thing, you can't really get the Lowe's and the Home Depot's and all that other stuff mm -hmm. unless you kind of build a little bit of a credit. Yeah. You can't get an American Express card mm -hmm. with a $300 Capital One. Right. So you can't expect to get all this business credit mm -hmm. if you don't have really anything established. Mm -hmm. And and seven, they have a 7-Eleven down here, right, in, 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 in Georgia or no? I, I think they do. They do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 7-Eleven, right? 7-Eleven yeah. has a business gas card. Mm. Wawa, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I know Wawa. Uh, 76, yeah. right? So, so right now you have 7-Eleven, you, you have Wawa. You have uh, seventy. Um, uh, you have few uh, fuelman gas cards, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you have like um, Sitco. Mm -hmm. You have BP. Mm -hmm. Like those are five gas cards right there. And what's crazy is all you gotta do is you can literally Google it. Mm -hmm. Local gas cards, mm -hmm. local business gas cards, mm -hmm. right? And what you want to do is you want to make sure you go to the bottom of the page and usually at the bottom where there's a business credit application, mm -hmm. and or just go to wex.com and mm -hmm. it'll tell you every single gas card mm -hmm. that's available. And this is the thing, if the gas card's not in your area, still get it. Right. Still get it, because you never know, like maybe you're gonna travel to an event, yeah. you're gonna travel here, travel there, mm -hmm. and you can use that gas card. And, and, and gas cards is one, of the, is, is one of the biggest ways, like Uline is good. Yeah. Like I said, still get those, still get those small mom and pop, you know, net 30 accounts that everybody mm -hmm. talks about online. Yeah. Yeah. That's good and all, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But it's a different type of flex when you got a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars in, in business gas cards. Yeah. Are you gonna use two hundred thousand dollars? Probably not. You, yeah. you shouldn't be. Right. Because then you probably have a problem. Right. right. Unless you're a truck. But the thing is, if yeah. you're a trucker, yeah, right? If you're yeah. in the trucking industry, you shouldn't be using your business debit card mm. for gas. Right. Get as many gas cards as you can. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, like I have probably like ten to fifteen gas cards. Mm -hmm. Um, I just got approved for a fuelman gas card, right? Mm -hmm. No personal guarantee, mm -hmm. but a lot of these gas cards, you know what they do? They still make you put your personal information. Mm -hmm. They don't run your credit though. Right. Okay. They just yeah. want to verify that, you know, you're legit. Cause the thing about it, you're, they're, they're giving you a high limit. Right. Um, BP Murphy's, these all get, these all give like eight, $9,000 gas cards. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. The power is in because yeah, you can get in at 30 mm -hmm. with, with a, with a $200 limit. Mm -hmm. But why not get an eight thousand dollar gas card? Mm -hmm. That's where the remember the my jewelers and the new coast directs. Right. They were powerful because it didn't matter what type of card it was. Mm -hmm. They're reporting a five thousand right, dollar limit. Exactly. Right. 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 So right. think of the same concept when it comes to gas cards. Is that you're gonna have eight, ten, fifteen? Like I had one of my clients who had a a five eight. It was like a five eighty credit score. Mm -hmm. and he got approved for an eight thousand dollar BP Mastercard. Wow. Under his business. Right. He had to personally guarantee it, but yeah. he's like, I don't care. Right. I'm gonna get eight grand. Right. And you, what can you do with that? You can do with all the truck stops. Right. You can purchase stuff inside, maintenance. Yeah. And and usually wherever Mastercard's accepted at gas stations, mm -hmm. you could run it up. Run it up. Just make right. sure you pay it back. Right. right. And, and that really, honestly, bro, is 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 the way you really want to build your business credit. Yeah. Is is not 
with those net 30 U-lines. Because like I said, that's saturated right now, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Everybody's saying U-line, Granger, you know, office supplies, yeah. this and that. But there's also Office Depot. Yeah. There's Staples. Yeah. There's, there's a company called Bank Express. It's funny, we're in a vault. Of BankExpress.net. Mm -hmm. They'll let you get things for your business on, 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 on a net 30 account. Mm. But they're going to, let's say if you want to buy, like if I want to buy, you know, 100 hoodies, 100 right. book bags, right? right? They're not going to, in a sense, give you a limit. They'll just let you get it. You just got to mm. make sure you pay it back. Right. Like those are the type of accounts that you want. And, and we can dive deep into each category because I even did, I even did a uh, shout out to my boy, Jaman, who's my trainer. Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, I need you to give a class to, the, to these personal trainers. Mm -hmm. I've never spoke to a gym industry ever. Right. But I said, yo, give me the, the names of the companies that you buy things with. Mm -hmm. So when you buy your equipment, when you buy your meals, when you buy your vitamins, when you buy your flooring at a gym, mm. give me the names of the companies. Right. Did you know every single one of those companies that he gave me had business credit? Wow, wow. Every single one of them. Yeah. So now gym owners are actually able to come in yeah. and buy things on business credit. Right, wow, wow. So it's, it's crazy, whatever industry you're in, yeah. instead of using a business credit card, I mean a business debit card or Amex or whatever the case is, Look on their website, call them. Yeah. Hey, do you offer business credit? Yeah. Hey, I just started my own photography company. Do you offer business credit? Yeah. You know what I mean? And you want to make sure that you're using as because like I said, those U lines are good. Right. But there's more power in building true business credit with what it is that you need. Yeah. Yeah. You, if you need something, go on their website, go to the bottom, it'll say business application, or just call the number. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, and and I love that because what people don't realize, or especially in our community, the black and brown community, is that you know whenever uh, we, you know there's entrepreneurs who are you know focused on building their business, uh, you know they, they there's always this saying. Uh, it take money to make money, right? Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. you know we talk a lot about lack of, of of access to capital, but sometimes it's not lack of access to capital. Sometimes it's lack of the knowledge to access the capital. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and if you get access to the knowledge, and, and and it's crazy. I was doing this 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 webinar for my boy Jaman mm -hmm. with the trainers, right? Yeah. And it's funny how the business applications are usually at the bottom of the page to the right. Yeah. Because they don't want you to know it. Because mm -hmm. why would they want to give you... So so one of them was called um, Rogue Fitness. Mm -hmm. Why would Rogue Fitness want to give you $20,000 in gym equipment without a personal guarantee? Right. They don't want to. Yeah. And, and that's the problem with a lot of these... Uh, a lot of these companies is the business credits out there. Mm -hmm. They just don't want you to have it. And do, yeah. you, do you want to know the main reason why? Yeah, please tell me. It's because when it comes to credit... You have the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Mm -hmm. You have the Fair Credit Billing Act. Mm -hmm. You have the Truth in Lending Act. You mm -hmm. have all these acts that govern and protects consumers right. and protects business owners. Mm. There's no laws when it comes to business credit. Mm. They don't have to report the accurate information. They don't have the truth. In, there's no, there's oh, no wow, type of regulation. Wow, 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 wow. So it's an unregulated market. Yeah. So why would they want to give you 20 grand in business credit mm -hmm. when your business can go under and I can't come after you for it personally because your business goes under. Wow. So there's, it, it, it's like different, you know, right. think about it. If you, even if you sign like a merchant cash advance, you yeah. personally guarantee can still come after you. Mm -hmm. It's still going to go on your personal credit. Right. You know what I mean? But because you're personally guaranteed it, now you fall under mm -hmm. the fair yeah, credit reporting fair. act. Well, that makes sense. Now yeah. you fall under it, but because there's no personally guaranteed thing and, and there's no guarantor assigned to that, mm -hmm. There's no regulation when it comes to business credit. And that's where I was like, man, I miss, like, you know, even in my business, I mean, yeah. I'm missing something. Like, yeah. it can't just be credit repair. Right, 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 right. And that's what I discovered in 2014. And that's yeah. why we're focused so much on business credit yeah. because it, it, it's, it's a gold mine. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? It can truly take your business to the next level where now I'm just using uh, the, the gym owners as an example is you have no money to start your business? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Let me show you how to get right. all the money you need to, to, to do your business from the beginning up. Right. Right. And now you can't say lack to access the capital. Right. You can't say lack of access of knowledge because we're you're, you're getting it. Yeah. We're giving it to you. Yeah. Now you just got to go apply it. Yeah, yeah. And and you know you know I want to ask this because I, I know that there was um you know I, I've seen posts um uh, flying around you know talking about um, using credit instead mm -hmm. of like debit cards and things mm -hmm. of that nature uh, because there's advantages of using credit, right? Can you yep. talk about that a little bit? I mean, there's a there's a lot of advantages. When, he, when it comes to using credit, I just say it depends on what you're using it for. Yeah, yeah. Right? If, if I always say if, if, if it's going to bring you a return on investment, mm. use your credit as much as you can. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and if you're not using your credit to 
any to return anything. Like if you're just going out and you're spending money on food, on this, on that, on shopping, mm -hmm. it, it's not bringing you anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the advantages of using your credit also is is you know protection. Yeah, yeah. So so if I drop my debit card and somebody steals it, the investigation takes longer. Mm. Right, because the, the liability like is, is crazy. Right, 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 right. But if I use a if I use a credit card, my Amex, my Capital One, whatever credit card I use, I can call them up and say, listen, I lost my credit card. Mm -hmm. I I was in Georgia, I was in Atlanta, whatever the case is. Uh -huh. uh, I lost it. Right there, right they, there. they give it back to you. Yeah. There's no investigation. Yeah. They'll give the money back to you and mm -hmm. then say, all right, oh, well, we we did the investigation. Mm -hmm. You know what? You're right. Whatever the case is, mm -hmm. but credit protects you a lot. Mm. It, it, there's a certain layer of protection. And just imagine how much protection you even have more when you use your business credit. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's why I say it's like, use your credit card smartly, yeah. right? Use it, use it wisely, I mean. Mm -hmm. but, but also, like, don't be afraid to use it, but use it to your advantage. Like, if you know the, the, the credit is not going to bring you any money back, mm -hmm. don't go out there, you know, spending 30 grand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If, if you know a month you only bring in five and you're not doing anything else mm -hmm. to bring in that extra 25. Right. If, if that makes sense. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? But and don't be afraid, though. Yeah, and it also, though, Right, there's points, right? Yep. So like when you use your debit card, there's mm -hmm. no rewards, you're not, mm -hmm. you know, gaining anything. Yep. Um, so even if you use your, you know, your the like if you have the money yep. to pay on your debit card, if you have the credit, use it on the credit card. Absolutely. Then pay it back on it, right? Because you could like accumulate points. Absolutely. Right? You could yeah. travel that's when you start traveling for free. Yeah. Like like my go to's are usually American um, you know, my American Express card, but it's mm -hmm. is linked to Delta. Yep. And it's linked to Marriott. Yep. So that's why I usually only fly. I usually fly Delta. Right. And I usually stay at Marriott's because now you start building reward points, you start right. building stuff, you can travel for free. Yeah. You get, you know, you get free nights. Mm -hmm. So it's like now you're using your credit to where it's like, all right, even if you're using even if you're going grocery shopping, mm -hmm. using your Marriott card. Yeah. Even if you're buying something as a gift for somebody, maybe use your Delta card. Yeah. So the more points you get, now you start traveling for free, you start doing stuff, you get rewarded differently, mm -hmm. you can start sitting first class. Right. You never know who you're gonna meet. Facts. You never know who you know, a CEO of a bank could be sitting next to you. It's like, yep. yo, what's this guy, all right, this guy must be doing something, be right. sitting in first class. Yeah. He starts conversating with you. So yeah. it opens up a lot of doors, yeah. especially when you start using it to your advantage. Yeah, no, I love that, I love that. And then so uh, give us some uh, other examples of uh, types of uh, accounts that someone could open up, you know, to help build their business. So, so once you start building the foundation, right? I just, I just want to reiterate it because mm -hmm. you got to build the foundation first, right? Yeah. Once you build the foundation, once you get those net thirties, uh, once you get some of those gas cards, right? Everybody uses Amazon, right? Mm -hmm. I think everybody here uses Amazon at one point. Yeah. Amazon has two business cards. Mm -hmm. They have a credit, they have a revolving one, uh, which means that you can pay over time and they have a net 30 account. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a net 55 account mm -hmm. where you have 55 days to pay it back. Mm -hmm. So those are two right there. You might have to use your personal credit if you don't get approved in the beginning, but, but it's okay, mm -hmm. right? They check Equifax, right? Mm -hmm. um, Home Depot, Lowe's, um, any local, um, gas, and I'm just gonna, I'm repeating myself just to make sure in case people are, uh, any local gas cards, right? Once you get that, what you wanna start doing next to really build your business credit is, is auto credit. Mm. Right. And, and, and I know everybody loves Turo. Everybody loves, you know, a lot of people are not into Turo, yeah. but they used to need a car. Right. Right. So one of the best ways to build your business credit is by getting a vehicle. Mm. Right. And if you have to personally guarantee the first one, mm. it's OK. All good. Yeah. It's OK. Right. But once you start, once once you put a, a fifty thousand dollar auto loan yep. on your business credit, yep. it's going to shoot it up. And then now when you get the second one, the third one, it's all in your business credit. So yeah. it's like, yeah, just get a car yeah. on your business credit. Yeah. yeah, but how? You gotta build the foundation. Yeah. Build all those gas cards, build all those net 30 accounts, right? Yeah. And then now you're good. And, and believe it or not, man, all, all I say is whatever industry you're in, Google that industry. Yeah. Because there's, so, there, there's only a certain amount of cards that are, are for everybody. Like I said, the Staples, mm -hmm. the Office Depot, like Walmart and, and uh, Target, they used to have it, they got rid of them, mm -hmm. right? But there's a lot of places, like uh, even JCPenney has a business credit account. Mm. Tiffany's, like the jewelry company, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they have a business credit account. Mm. So all these business credit accounts that you want to get is really specific to what you need. Mm -hmm. um, Dell.com is a big one. Mm. So you can literally just Google Dell business credit, mm. right? You can apply for Dell and you can get anything that you want in electronics under your business. Wow. Right? Apple credit. Mm -hmm. um, I have right now, what's crazy is we have 40 team members, right? Mm -hmm. uh, each team member gets a laptop, mm -hmm. an, a, a MacBook, and an iMac. Mm. So right now I have 80 wow. 
MacBook products mm -hmm. or, or Mac or Apple products mm -hmm. that's all on business credit. Wow. Right? And yeah. th to go to them, you got to go to SIT Bank. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can contact SIT Bank mm -hmm. and you can get now uh, 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 funding, equipment financing mm -hmm. for your business. Wow. Right? And to get Apple products. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and that's it, man. I mean, it, it's really just dependent upon what you want. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. if you're a landscaper, what do you want? You need trucks. Right. You, you know, you, you might need a backhoe. You might need this. You might need a pickup truck. Yeah. So it's like, imagine you as a landscaper going to get a truck under your business that's mm -hmm. on your personal credit and, 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 and wherever you can get pavers, all your equipment, the lighting, the everything. Just ask them if they have business credit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and like I said, this goes for any industry you're in. Mm -hmm. now, you're, now you can actually just multiply the amount of credit you have available. Mm -hmm. And I would say, even if you don't need it right now, mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you don't need a Home Depot card right now, get it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what's the hardest thing to get when you need it? Mm -hmm. Credit. Credit. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hardest thing you can, if you don't, if you, when you need it the most, yeah. is when you're not going to be able to get it. it. And, and you know, I mean, you're absolutely right with uh, the auto loan. That's clutch. Because I, yeah. I remember that that's actually what I use uh, to build my business credit. Yep. Uh, I bought a car, I think it was 2017. I personally guaranteed it the first time. Yep. Uh, I, you know, I put it under my business name. Honestly, now I, I, I got multiple cars under yep. my business name, yep. and they don't even like it's it's so easy now, yep. like because I, you know, I built that history with them. Now I go anywhere, and I'm just like, all right, let me let me get this, and then they they'll they'll give it to you. So I love that. Yeah. And so how um can can credit um help you save money, right? Yep. Because because there's so many plays that people don't really understand. I mean, first and foremost, having a business in general can save you money. Right. Right? But then now, if you have a business and use business credit, it can save you money. Right. Give, give, it, give us a few, a few plays. So, especially with business credit, right? Think of it as like, you know, you ever been to Macy's? Mm -hmm. or Victoria's Secret mm -hmm. or any department store credit card and say, hey, if you use your business credit card. Not Victoria's Secret. <laughs> no, I mean. Well, I go there from a white ball of time. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I'm back. I go there from a white ball of time. You know what I mean? So the thing is, if you use your card, what do they say? Oh, you get 20% off. Yeah. You get 15% off, right? So the thing is, if you could buy more things with what you need on a credit, they usually give you a discount, mm. right? So once again, I'm just, you know, using certain industries, landscaping, right? If you need to buy certain things for your business, and you use your business credit card and you use it with that company, mm -hmm. not only can you get a bulk pricing, but you're also gonna get a discount because you're using them over and over again. Mm, yeah. BJ's, yeah. Sam's Club, yeah. you know, all these places, right? And you could literally save money because now you're paying it over time, mm -hmm. right? So it's like now if, 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 if you're like, all right, if I can get this for 10,000, mm -hmm. I know it's gonna make me 20, mm -hmm. but you know what? I don't have 10,000 mm -hmm. cash. Mm -hmm. You know, let, let me go ahead and use my credit card. It's going to help you eat, not even save money, but make money. Yeah. And, and that's the biggest thing, man, is, is if you can use your credit wisely, yeah. it, it's not going to ultimately save you money, too. It's going to actually help you make more money yeah. for yeah. your business. Yeah, and no, I love that. I love that. And so what what is, uh, you know, we, we, we talked about not having the proper address, not setting up your business the right way. What are some other big mistakes that people make when they're trying to establish business credit? Yep. I, I would say the biggest mistake is is honestly not asking if that company offers business credit. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's that's the part one is, is they don't ask that company if they offer business credit. But but the second thing is, is always using their personal credit when they apply. Mm. The, even just because it says social date of birth, mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you have to put it. Right. right. It, it usually says optional next to it. Right, right. It usually says, do you want to personally guarantee this car? Mm. Do you want to personally guarantee this credit card? Mm. Do you want to No. <laughs> you just don't fill it out right, right, and right. see what they say. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and then the third thing is, is is this is when you have good credit. The mistake that I see people doing is you apply for an American Express business credit card. Mm -hmm. The mistake that I see them doing is they get approved for one and they're like, I'm set. Ah, yeah, yeah. Why are you stopping at one? Mm, mm -hmm. Let American Express tell you that you're denied for your third, fourth, and fifth card. Mm. Keep applying. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing is, if, if that company offers more than one credit card, mm. why are you only applying for one? Wow, yeah. Lowe's offers three business credit cards. Mm -hmm. uh, Home Depot, American Express, I think, has like 14 business credit cards. Yeah. So once you establish a relationship with them, right, They'll be able to approve you for multiple credit cards, either with one inquiry or no inquiry. Right, right. So it's like that is probably the biggest mistake. Right, is right. keep going. Mm. Let somebody tell you you're declined. Yeah. 
And, and be, because imagine this. Imagine if you have good credit, right? Just imagine you have good credit, 700 plus. Mm -hmm. You apply for an American Express business card. Mm -hmm. They approve you for a $20,000 credit card. Yep. And now you apply for another one, mm -hmm. and another one, mm -hmm. and another one, and you just keep going, mm -hmm. right? And the magic with this, with, with this ashes, when you apply for the uh, business credit card, it's gonna say either approved mm -hmm. or pending in blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you get the pending in blue, that means you're gonna get approved. All they gotta do is verify information. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do a little bit of a check on you. Mm -hmm. They might have to ask you to upload your bank statements, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. and you're good. Keep going. Right. When you get the pending review in yellow with American Express, mm -hmm. stop, because that mm -hmm. means you decline. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We tell this to our clients, these, our clients are getting three, four, five, six credit cards mm -hmm. in one day wow. with one or zero inquiries. Wow. You know what I mean? And just keep going because what, what's the purpose of just having one credit card? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get as many as you can. So yeah. keep, keep applying for as many things as that uh, company is offering mm -hmm. because you never know when you're going to need it. And so, and so what would you, you know, what advice though would you have to that person uh, who's just afraid of credit, right? Because I know mm -hmm. people who are like, yo, I'm, I'm not even touching credit. Right. I'm not applying for credit. Like you just saying apply for all you can, just just triggered them. And they yeah. like, what is he saying? You know right. what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, is, is like usually when they're afraid of credit, is 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 because they know someone that had a bad experience with credit mm. or them themselves had a bad experience with credit. Yeah. So it's like now it's like you can't force them. Oh, just keep applying. Like, mm -hmm. all right, man, listen, let's take a step back. Mm -hmm. Why are you apply why are you afraid yeah. to apply for credit? Yeah. And ask yourself that question. Yeah. Right? Why am I oh man, my dad didn't know credit, my grandmother, my brother, my this. Mm. All right, that's not you. Right. Oh, I had bad credit in the past. All right, well now you have good credit. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. So if you're scared to apply for credit and you're scared to do things is usually either one, you have bad credit mm -hmm. or you don't know how to manage it. Right. You know what I mean? And once you, once you get the knowledge of it, you're good. Yeah. Just don't be afraid of it. And so, and so what about, um, you know, the, the, the gurus out here, the, uh, the Dave Ramsey's who, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, uh, um, say that credit is bad. Like do not get credit. Don't touch credit. Credit is the devil. Right. It's the mark of the beast. Like what's, I mean, Dave Ramsey, I hope I hope I hope I get to meet him one day, right? Yeah. And and have a little discussion with him about credit. Yeah. The thing is, it's not realistic, man. Mm. You know, if, if you're telling someone to save up a hundred grand to buy their house yeah. or to get a car, you know it's easier to build a hundred thousand dollars in credit mm. than it is to save a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. If you're making forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, but you got somebody like that telling you to save to buy the house, yeah. cash. Yeah. That can take you forever. Yeah. And you know what I mean? You have to live in a place. So not only is it gonna take you forever, the money that you could have been putting towards the equity in that home is going to someone else. Right. Right. right? And so and so while while you're saving, yep. you're really not saving mm -hmm. because if you um take out a take out a mortgage and you're paying fifteen hundred a month. In that mortgage payment, that fifteen hundred a month is not going anywhere. No, that's that's paying down the loan, <laughs> which is building your equity. Right. But if you're paying, if you say, you know what, nah, I'm gonna listen to Dave Ramsey or whoever, right? Right. Um, you know the debt free community. Um, that fifteen hundred that you still are paying to rent is going out the window and it's never coming back. Yep. Yeah. So you ha you have somebody like Grant Cardone. Yeah. Who loves debt. Yeah. He's like, give it to me. Right. I think he has like millions of dollars in debt. He doesn't care. It's good debt. Yeah. You know what I mean? His assets is still producing you money. Right. So it's like if you're afraid or if you're listening to someone that says spend, you know, save up. Yeah. And, and don't use your credit. You you got to use your credit. Right. right. To, to, to get a mortgage. Like uh, unless you buy it. And it's the thing. I would even tell you, you know, you have a lot of, you know, a lot of celebrities, rappers, mm -hmm. athletes, whatever the case is. They get they come into millions mm -hmm. and they buy a house cash. Yeah. Bad move. Bad move. Yeah. So even when, if you have the money, it's still a bad move. Yeah. More, you know, you want to get into that into that predict into that habit of using your credit to your advantage. Just because you apply for a mortgage doesn't mean you're going to be in debt forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Just, and, and just because you get a car note doesn't mean you're going to be in debt forever. Yeah. Like like if you know you're going to get the car repossessed. Yeah. Put it on Turo. Right. Right. Put put the car on Turo. Yeah. If you know you you can, if you know you can't afford your house anymore, Airbnb. put it on Airbnb yeah, right. and live with a family member. Exactly. Yeah. So there's now there's different ways of thinking. Yeah. Nowadays, yeah. whereas before there weren't these options, there's yeah. too many options for us. And, and, and I'll speak on that too, specifically to the rappers, specifically to people who have money. 
the wealthiest people on on these on these planets still use credit, right? Yep. And I'm a, and 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 we'll we'll give a, a, a I'll give you a quick uh, lesson on how using credit is losing money, right? Yep. And so the greatest rapper of all time, uh, Jay Z, multi, you know the Billy Goat, yep. as we like to call him, um, and his wife, uh, you know Beyonce Carter, uh, Nose Carter. They bought a, I think it was a hundred and fifteen million dollar place, right, uh, in in California, right. Um, they uh, paid eighty million in cash for it, and the rest they finance. And so you might say to yourself, hey, why would they like these are you know they billionaires? Why would they finance fifty something million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So things like one thirty, right? So why would they finance like fifty million dollars, right? The truth of the matter was that the mortgage that they got was a 4% mortgage, right? Which means that they financed $50 million at 4%, right? Mm. But guess what? You know how much you can make on $50 million in the market? Right. Because at that level of money, right, you're putting that money into things that's giving you way more than 4%, right? right. And so let's just use this as an example. They did a 30-year mortgage on $50 million. Right. They're paying 4% on that, that $50 million for 30 years. But if they put that money to work and they're getting 8 to 12%, uh -huh. them locking the money up in the mortgage is actually losing them money. Right. Right? Yep. And so, you know, you know, that's really an example that people don't really kind of think of. Yep. Um, because, you know, credit makes them nervous, because mm -hmm. it gives them anxiety, because uh, people have been credit shaming. Yep. Right. And so, you know, someone if someone's credit shaming you because, oh, my God, you have this like, no, listen. Right. Hey, yo, I'm running a number up on Toro. Right. I'm not using my cash. What I'm using my cash for nope. when I could use somebody else's cash and I don't even pay the note. Right. My, the, my, my clients, the people who are buying, who are renting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm giving, I'm giving out too much game. So we got, we, we, we want to, we, we want to, we want to flip, man, because, um, you know, you know, I think that, um, you gave up, you gave a lot of game. So yo, if y'all haven't been taking notes, you know, writing it down, listen, go back and make sure you pay attention. Uh, stop hitting me up at, look, after this episode, do not hit me up. Ask me about no credit. No personal credit or business credit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start sending you this link. I'm warning you right now. Yep. Um, and so now, you know, you know, as somebody who, um, you know, um, you know, uh, filed for bankruptcy, was able to build back the business, mm -hmm. uh, you know, now you're making millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, you have 40 employees. You're like living the life. Mm -hmm. um, if you can go back to your 18-year-old self, uh -huh. What are you telling Jose? What advice are you giving him? So if, if that's Jose right there, yeah. you know what I'm telling him? Well, listen, buckle up. You're going to mm. go through depression. Yeah. You're going to kick out the military. Yeah. You're going you know, you, you're, you're to go through bankruptcy. You're going to have hard times. You're going to go through this. But just buckle up because there's nothing that I would, there's nothing that I would tell my 18-year-old self to change of what happened because I, what I went through is what got me here. Mm. So if I would have told my 18-year-old self anything to mm. like, yo, do this differently, do that differently... I wouldn't be here, Ooh. right? I wouldn't be where I'm at. And I think a lot of people go back and they say, I would have told my 18-year-old self about credit. No, I wouldn't have. Wow. Because then I wouldn't be the credit dude. Right. I would have had credit at 18. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? So I would have just said, yo, listen, bro, buckle up. Yeah. Because guess what? You, you're going to go through a lot of stuff yeah. that you don't know what you're going to go through, but yeah. just let you know, when you're 38, yeah. I'm going to see you there. Mm. And I'm going to shake your hand. Yeah, yeah. And, and when you're 38, you're still not done. Mm. So don't just think because you're 20 years later yeah. that you're done because yeah. you're not. Yeah. But just just be yourself mm -hmm. and just strap up because yeah. it's gonna be a bumpy ride. No, nah, I love that. I love that perspective though too because um, there's a movie I, I always uh, reference this movie, The Butterfly Effect, right? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, one of the best movies. Anybody who ever is regretting anything in your life, watch The Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher, yep. where every time he goes back to try to change something, he makes something worse. Yep. And I think that uh, going back and regretting 
is the most disrespectful thing you could do to who you are today. Yep. That's all I'm saying, yep. right? Because the truth of the matter is that the past doesn't even exist anymore, yep. right? The future don't even want you because it keeps running from you. Nobody's yep. ever lived in the future. Yep. The only thing you really have is here and now. And so because you have here and now, you have the opportunity to keep moving forward. That's and it. so if you ever say, yo, I would I, yo, I love that perspective yeah, because bro. that is the absolute truth. Yep. Like everything you've been through, every you know, depression, anxiety, the pills, all of that. Everything. Is made Jose a multi-millionaire. Yep. I wouldn't change it. That's it. I wouldn't yeah. change it. Yeah, yeah. All right. And so with that being said, um, what would you say is the most extravagant thing you've done with money so far? You got some nice things, man. Yeah. So I would say the most extravagant thing was my current situation mm. with my house. Yeah. Uh, was where I was able to, I, I bought my house a few years ago. Uh, four years ago, and I was able to make a uh, $300,000 profit on it. Mm. Uh, whereas when I bought my house four years ago, I was knee deep in debt again. Wow. Right? 2017. Remember, I almost sold the company in 18. Right. So 17, I was in debt again. Yeah. But it was because I forgot about credit. Mm. Yeah. I forgot about, I mean, business credit. Yeah, yeah. I was using my personal credit for everything. So what I did, man, I just started using my business credit more, mm. more and more. Uh, I mean, I paid my health insurance for, for my employees through business credit, yep. cars. I got seven seven cars under the business right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the best thing I did, man, was just making sure that I use my business credit for everything and, and, and using it more to my financial gain mm -hmm. versus looking at it as like, oh, if I take out too much debt, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to mess up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it like, you know, they say it takes money to make money. Nah, yeah. bro. It takes credit. Sometimes mm -hmm. it takes credit yeah. and business credit to make you some real money. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't be sitting here today if I didn't have business credit. Right. And no, I love that. And then what what's the most impactful thing you you you've done with money? So we, um, what, do, what, what kind of cars you got? I, I saw you got a nice little Yeah, uh, so I got a um, so I got a Rolls-Royce Wraith yep. 2019. I got a uh, RX 350 mm -hmm. uh, Lexus. Yeah. I got a uh, F150 truck. Yep. What kind? Uh, I got one too. Uh, plat the, the limited, the, okay. whatever the, no, the whatever whatever the biggest one. It's my wife. She wanted yeah. it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Limited, the limited or too. platinum. Yeah. Um, I got a uh, two Jeep Cherokees. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm missing one. Oh, the Range Rover. Mm -hmm. That's wifey's. Yeah, yeah. And then I got an I got a one coming next week. Mm -hmm. of, of 2017 or 2018 Maserati Levante. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted a Levante, a white one. What you what color and, you in? And uh, purple. Okay. Purple. And that's, and that's going straight on Turo. Ah, purple. Yeah, yeah purple. I heard the Levantes go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, right. so those are the cars that man. All of them, besides the, besides the, no, besides no, all those now are on business credit. Yeah. Because I had a Lexus uh, ES350. Yeah. And that was on my personal credit, and yeah. I traded it in, uh, for the for the F150 truck. Wow, love it, love it, love it. And then, so, what what would you say is the most impactful thing you've done with money? Um, the most impactful thing I've done with money, man. I'm I'm gonna flip it a little bit, bro, and say credit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm kind of tie both of them in. The, the most impactful thing that I did, man, was 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 um, putting my family on, mm. right through my company, mm. right. Um, I hired my mother. Yeah. I hired both of my brothers. Yeah. My sister. Mm. Uh, my brother's wife. Mm. His mother-in-law. Yeah. My best friend from high school. Yeah. His wife. Yeah. Their friends. <laughs> right. And, and and those forty people, man. It, and and it's not putting on. Right. It's it's giving an opportunity, man. Because if I didn't have credit. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to make the money mm. to pay payroll. Wow. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And yeah. and I think a lot of the times, like like my company is U.S. based. Mm -hmm. My company's here. Right. right. My company's not overseas, and yeah. everybody has their different ways of doing things. Yeah. But my thing is, is what's impactful is being able to give an opportunity to someone that can be home with their kids every day. Mm, right. Right. Because right. through if, if I didn't have those thirty nine other people, mm -hmm. the credit dude couldn't be here. Right. Right. So the most impactful thing is really giving. Is, is giving an opportunity to people yeah. that want to just be home with their kids, yeah. that want to just travel the world yeah. and still work. Yeah. Yeah. And, and think about it. Everybody gets wrapped up. Well, you got to be in an office. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to an office. Yeah. So let me hire people that have that same mentality. Like, right. yo, if you can work from home, yeah. this is what this is what I'm going to be able to help you do. Yeah. You can go to the beach and work, go right. to the park and work, go right. to Disney, do this, whatever the case is. Yeah. So that's why I kind of flipped it where it was like, the credit and the money allowed me to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know what I mean? And no, no, and what well, we pay health insurance. Yeah. We cover 100% costs. Wow. Yeah. And, and that's one of the other things that we do. Yeah. When it comes to being impactful, is we, we can pay for things now right. for our team members. Yeah. With credit or money, yeah, and, yeah. and, and that's the difference, man. Is, yeah. is just giving back as much as I can, not only to the community, yeah. but the people that that in a sense grind every day to help yeah. me be who I am. Absolutely, no, I love that. And so, 
you know, and I appreciate your, your, you know, your honesty and vulnerability to talk about mental health and depression, mm-hmm. anxiety, and the yeah. things that uh, you went through. Um, and so, what advice would you give to somebody um, who's, you know, you know, having to make decisions in tough times, right? Because yeah. you know, um, pandemics, and you know, there's so much. Um, uncertainty happening right now. People don't know if they're going to lose their jobs or, you know, entrepreneurs, how they gonna, you know? And so there's, there, there's entrepreneurs right now making some tough decisions. Um, what advice would you have for them? So one of, one of the biggest things that I would say is, is look yourself in the mirror, right? Mm. And, and, and if you don't want to be an opportun- entrepreneur, yeah. then go back to having a nine to five. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. Because you're, 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 in a sense, wasting your time with really, truly being an entrepreneur. So if you don't, if you don't really have what it takes to become an entrepreneur, it's okay. Yeah. But if you do, right, and you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to get through whatever it is you're getting through, there's a phrase that my coach, his name is Ryan Stuman, says, right, is F-Y-E, mm-hmm. is F your excuses. Mm. And I have it tattooed behind my ear. Yeah. And in the day, nobody cares about you. Nobody cared that I was going through the bankruptcy, mm. that I was losing this, that my mm. dad was on drugs, that, mm. my, you know, that we lost the house as kids, that mm. I went through the break. Mm. Nobody cared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nobody cared. And if, yeah. if I made excuses for every little thing that came my way, yeah. And if somebody would have, and this is the thing, if I would have told everybody my excuses, mm-hmm. this is the thing. You know what nobody wants to hear, man? Mm-hmm. Man, every time I talk to this guy, he's, oh my God, it's just like right. oh, oh, complaining about everything. Yeah. Listen, don't complain about it. Mm-hmm. Find a way to solve it. So that way, when I go to you, like, yo, bro, I was going through this, but I solved it like mm-hmm. this, because now I can help you, help that person. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, man, is, is, is F your excuses. Yeah. Because you can't pay the bill with them. Mm, yeah. you, you can't pay your mortgage with excuses. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why I love that phrase, FYE, man, because at the end of the day, you gotta, do, you gotta put your big boy or big girl pants on, mm-hmm. get to work, and if you have mental health problems, mm-hmm. like I did, yeah. seek help. Yeah. Go to a therapist, right? Yeah. That's the one thing that you can't play with. Yeah. You know, if you gotta get on medication, get put on medication, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Talk to people, right? Yeah. But don't talk to your boys and your friends about it because mm-hmm. they're not going to understand what you're going through unless it's like another veteran or another mm-hmm. business owner, whatever the case is. Yeah. Seek mental help if you need it, Yeah. but also FYA at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I love you that. Mean? And then so, you know, what, what, what advice would you give to that, uh, that person um, who has a nine to five? They looked mm-hmm. in the mirror. And they're like, yo, nah, I want I need to be an entrepreneur. Yep. And so I so so I'm a you know, I'm a side hustler or you know, I got this business, uh, I got this nine to five five, but I wanna be on like what, what advice are you giving that? One, start building your business credit now. Oh, yeah. Get your LLC today. Yeah. Right? I built I, I started my company in February 2010. Yeah. I didn't quit my job until August of 2012. Mm-hmm. Right? Build your business credit. And I didn't even have business credit at that time. Yeah, yeah. Right? But build your business credit. Build the foundation. Yeah. Get your credit right. Yeah. Get your business credit up. Maybe get a, get everything out of your personal credit. Yeah. Right? Um, and I'm going to just say one thing. Bank of America actually allows you to refinance your car mm. from your personal credit to your business. Oh. So if you are looking to leave your nine to five, exactly. right, go to Bank of America, get, get the car out of your personal credit, get as much personal debt that you can out, right? And then now when you start your business and you want to do nine to five, you have no personal debt. So th- there's a lot, a lot of things that hold people back. It's like, man, I got all this debt on my personal credit. I can't leave my job. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do it. Do a small. But the thing is, when I, I had a lot a, of wait, debt. Wait, 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 but that's that's a heavy part, though. Right. That's heavy because I, yeah. so I, so I don't want nobody to miss that. Yeah. So you're saying, right? You're saying that if you are so side hustler, right? Got a job, want to be an entrepreneur. Open up my business right now. Today. Start building my business credit. Bank of America mm-hmm. allows you to refinance your personal car, your, your personal car into your business name. Yep. So you can literally build your business, you know, transfer a lot of your, your, your debt into the business. Right. So now when you when you leave your job, the business It's crazy. Oh, that's a bar. So, so that's what I would. That's one thing I would have did differently, but I'm glad I didn't yeah, because yeah. I wouldn't have found that play out. Right. You know what I mean. Right. So if you're contemplating of leave, leaving a five job, like don't just leave. Yeah. Like you know how they say like oh like still just have one plan, but when you're gonna jump that ship, just make sure you have. You don't have to have money. Yeah. But have credit. Yeah. And you'll be good. Yeah. No, I love you that. I, mean? I love that. Uh, fi- finish, finish this race for me. I am. Yep. Finish it. Whew. I am. I am, I would say, when it, when it comes to that, I've never been asked that, so that's pretty dope. So I would say I am powerful, yeah. right? Because 
when it comes to being powerful, it comes to every aspect of your life, mm -hmm. right? I'm powerful to my kid, mm -hmm. to my wife, mm -hmm. to, to, to my employees, mm -hmm. team members, I hate saying employees, uh, clients, mm -hmm. the community, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. because every single person in this world, I feel, brings a different value mm -hmm. to, to the world. Yeah. They bring something different. So for a long time, and I was depressed, mm -hmm. I, was, I was always hiding, I was always under the sheets, I didn't want to leave home, and it wasn't until I felt powerful that I felt like I belonged that I knew that I can really hit my apex and hit my peak, man. Yeah. So I guess I'm powerful. That's pretty dope. I've never yeah, actually yeah, had yeah. anybody ask me that. Yeah. So I would say that's what it is, man. I'm powerful. I'm, I'm, I'm better than what I think. Yeah. I'm not cocky. Mm -hmm. I'm not conceited. Mm -hmm. But I know that I bring value to to whoever I'm speaking to, man. Nah, and, and, that. and 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 that's why I like that. Nah, I, like I love that. it. I love it. All right, speed round real quick. Yep. Um. So what we do is we take uh you know phrases and terms and we yep. flip them. Yeah. Um. And so the first term we're gonna use is deposit slip, right? Uh, a deposit slip is the the form that you fill out. You mm -hmm. put money inside the bank. Here inside the vault, a deposit slip is a money slip up, like a like a money mistake. Okay. What is the biggest deposit slip you've made so far on your journey? Whew. I would say putting all of my personal or all of my business debt on my personal credit. Yeah. Which is what caused me to file bankruptcy. Yeah. 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 So that that was the biggest thing is I put yeah. every, I had no idea about business credit. Yeah. And and being that I didn't uh you know I thought I had all this money and I didn't because yeah. the revenue wasn't coming in. Yeah. Um I ended up putting everything on my personal and and it, it kind of took me out for a while. Yeah, yeah. Second, second term is charge off. Okay. A charge off. I mean, you know what a charge off is, yeah, but I'm going to yeah. say it anyway. Charge off. You borrow money from the bank. Mm -hmm. Can't pay it back. They try to get the money. Eventually, they mm -hmm. say, all right, you, you don't owe it. They charge it off. Um, what kind of, here's how the vault we say, charge off is what type of people or mindsets mm -hmm. did you have to charge off during your journey? Whew, wow. That's yeah. a that's a powerful one, man. Yeah. I, li I like that. It, I would say... I had to charge people off that used me mm. or my wife, mm. right? Um, and I say my wife because a lot of the times you see the people you love yeah. get hurt and get used, yeah. and they sometimes don't know how to break that, mm. right? So um, I had to family, friends, yeah. everybody, right? Mm -hmm. That that I felt was using me, yeah. right? And and didn't really provide any value to to our relationship, yeah. I cut them off, yeah. right? Because it, it, it's not one way. Like if I'm only if I'm calling you every day, mm -hmm. but you never call me, yeah. that's a problem, right? Yeah. Right? If all you're asking me is for money, mm -hmm. and don't give me any type of benefits in return, which is a relationship or a friendship, mm -hmm. then 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 there's, there's no there, there's no re relationship there if that matter, if that if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was really just getting rid of the people that I felt like were using me and my wife. Mm -hmm. Or, or that, or that didn't seek us yeah. the way that we were seeking them, mm -hmm. and it, and, it, and it changed the game forever, man. No, I love that. And then, last but not least, trust account. Okay. A trust account is where you take your valuable assets, you put it there, you protect it. Um, what kind of people or mindset are in your trust account that help that has helped you during your journey? People that I know that I'm going to call them. And I'm gonna cry on the phone. I'm gonna speak my problems. I'm gonna say everything, and they're not gonna judge me. Yeah. Right. Um, it kind of brings it back to when I spoke about the Marines. That uh, even though I got court-martialed, I kicked out. Yeah. Uh, people didn't judge me when they asked me for. They they still wanted my help, and they didn't judge me. Mm -hmm. The minute people started judging me, acting like they were better than me, no. Yeah. But the people that I call, like my circle, is which is real tight. Mm -hmm. You know, I speak to them every day. My yeah. brothers and a couple friends. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because those are the people that I know I can go to with a problem. Yeah. And they're, they're going to help me get through it, not judge me. Yeah. And then when they see me tomorrow, mm -hmm. they're not going to talk about it. Right. They're not going to throw it in my face. Right. You know what I mean? And those are the people that I trust the most, man, because you, you can't get through this life alone. Yeah. You need people, man. To, yeah. I don't care what nobody says. You need people, man. Well, Once you have the right circle, yeah. they're going to help you elevate to the top. Nah. All right, there you have it. Jose Rodriguez, the credit hey. dude. Yo, I promise you, I, look, first and foremost, we didn't lie. We told you to get your pen, get your paper. So much game given. But if somebody fell asleep, if somebody wasn't paying attention and they wanted to connect with you, yep. or they should be connected with you anyway, right. but where can they find you? I would say the best thing, man, is, is, is hit me on Instagram, yeah. right? Social media right now is, 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 a, is a perfect way for people to know, like, and trust you. Yeah. And I would say, listen, there's a lot of credit repair companies out there. There's a lot of people out there educating and, and, and on business credit, credit repair. Listen, follow me on Instagram, The Credit Dude. I'm a family guy. 
I want you to know, like, and trust me. Look at my page. Look at my story. Look at what I've done for people. And if, and if you feel like you're, you're, you're going through something that you can't get through yourself, pick up the phone or actually click the link in my bio, right? Schedule the call and we'll pick up the phone and call you mm. and we'll see what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And it's a 30 minute free consultation. Yeah. And if you feel like you need our help, we'll get started. The great thing is on the credit repair, we only charge if we get results. Mm. You know what I mean? There's, there's no course you're gonna buy where you gotta do everything on your own. And, and we, listen, we have, like I said, 40 team members and we're gonna help you walk, you know, if you need help with credit repair, business credit, we're gonna help you. And, uh, and that's about it, man. All right, there you have it. Let them know Inside the Vault sent you. Make sure y'all tap in with my guy, the credit dude, yep. Jose Rodriguez. Brother, I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you, you oh, bro. Man. Thanks, man. So much power. Appreciate you it. are powerful. Thank you, bro. So that was the right answer. Yes, sir. You are powerful. Thank you, man. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash. Make sure... You follow us on all social media platforms at Inside the Vault. Follow me, Ash Cash, at I am Ash Cash. We are closing out the vault. We'll see you next time. Same time, same place. Another powerful episode in God's will. Peace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You won't ask Cash. You can catch it right here in the vault.